chop up some celery and some carrots. I've already chopped up an onion and just into sort of bite-sized pieces. So everything's chopped up. I'm going to start by browning the chicken. So there's lots of room in there in between those chicken thighs and that means it's going to get nice and darkly caramelized which is going to be beautiful and of course very flavorful. I'm not cooking them through at this stage. I'm just getting them brown. They'll cook through when they cook up with the soup. There's so much flavor left behind from browning the chicken that I want to make sure to pick all of that up. I'm going to add a package of sliced mushrooms as well. Buying them already sliced just means that you save a little bit of time. And I'm going to cook this for about three minutes until it all starts to soften up a little bit. I'm going to sprinkle in some fresh dill. If there's no fresh around, you can use dried. And some garlic powder. Again, using garlic powder, which is just dehydrated garlic, makes things that much easier and faster. Once that's stirred in, I'll add those carrots and celery. And then I'm going to add all the chicken back into the pot. And now to turn it into a soup, just a couple cups of water. Give that a nice stir. I'll just cover that and let it simmer for a few minutes. In the meantime, I'll make the dumplings. Dumplings are really fast and easy to make and they make this dish spectacular. It's just a bit of flour with baking powder, salt, and I like a little bit of chopped fresh parsley, but it's not necessary. It just adds to the color and flavor to the dish. That all just gets mixed together. And then I'm going to pour in a little bit of milk and it'll make this into a sticky batter. These cook right over the soup, which turns the soup into a one pot dinner. It's got your vegetables, your starch, and your meat, all in one delicious pot. I'm just going to drop them into eight equal portions on top of the soup as it's simmering. Then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for another 15 minutes until the dumplings are cooked through. The stew simmered for 15 minutes. It's ready to serve. A couple of beautiful dumplings. Oh, it smells so good. And look at that rich, rustic, chicken soup underneath. Mm. There it is, a perfect bowl of chicken and dumplings.